Hello, welcome back to Wild Frost. It is about to start storming here, so I hope that I don't have my power go out during this recording, because that would suck. Well, we're here again. The fresh file is basically completed as far as I'm concerned. I'm going to do a daily sometime this week, I'm sure. Uh, just whenever I feel like it. I haven't started recording for my backlog yet. I'm still kind of in denial that I have to do one, but... You know, it is what it is. Ooh, these are spooky. Oh dear. I want... What did we play yesterday? We played Junk, I think. We played Blunky yesterday. I think we were Junk. These are 5-5-6. Five, five, I think the best character here is probably this 8-6. This one's interesting too. The Shasa, but... I'll take the 8-6. Oh, and we'll take Spike. I'm a little tired today, I don't know why. I can't figure it out. But I've been, been sleepy all day. Oh, I just saw lightning. It's okay, I'm gonna be fine, I'm sure. <laughs> the storms scare me so much. Not for the reasons you'd expect, though. They don't scare me because I'm afraid of thunder. They scare me because I'm afraid of my power going out mid-recording. Here, let's freeze up a snow bow. I'm try I, I ran at the numbers in my head very quickly, and I did not come up with an answer that I liked for how do we two kill here. So, yeah, I'm just gonna kind of take it easy, I suppose. Uh, we'll play Woodhead, and then I guess it's just Sword the snow bow is fine, and that's a two kill. Good enough. I'll take it. That is a 15 health winter. Wow. So in the snow fight, as long as you're ahead, the best thing to do is put a bunch of time into hitting Goblin here. I'm well enough ahead, and I got Woodhead here to deal with Winterworm, so we can farm up a little bit of money here. We can get ourselves a little bit of bread. If you know what I'm saying. Uh... I would have liked to multi-kill off of this turn. I can get two, which is fine. Ah, you know, I guess what I should do is this, actually. Hits Woodhead, Snowbow hits Spike and dies, Snow Knight hits Spike. You do it this way, and then you get a two kill, and the goblin is still alive, so I can hit it for some more money. Potentially. Anyway. Not 100% sure. But I wouldn't hate picking up a little bit more money here. We could maybe get a, more, a little more out of him. I'm not worried about Snow Knight. He's gonna do two, and then I'm just gonna start... Uh, disregarding his presence, basically. Uh, what I should do here, actually, is I should snow stick Snow Knight. Instead of hitting Goblin one more time, I should guarantee myself a two kill. Snow stick Snow Knight. I think you could maybe just hit the Goblin, but this way is nicer. I think. It's whatever. You do whatever you like here. Ultimately, it was a snow snowball start, and we have 73 gold, which is a great outcome. I'll go top. I do want to go treasure. I prefer treasure traveler over double traveler, but we'll go top. I think it's better to see double traveler. I don't want to go for money, so this should make me more powerful. Truffle charm. That's pretty good. And... Fire fist? Oh, no, wait. Wart. Oh, oh, sorry. My eyes were closed for a second. Wart. I have truffle charm. This run's basically over. Cool. That is enough on its own to win. Pootie Shelly. I'll take Pootie here. For sure. I don't know if you can hear it, but it's going crazy out there. I will... Yeah, so Truffle Charm War, he's like the greatest Truffle Charm target of all time. Oh yeah, you definitely heard that one. Uh, I mean, I'd pause and say I'll just wait for the storm to pass, but I don't know how long it's going to be storming and I gotta get this video recorded. It'll be fine. You'll survive. 
the bears, I think, are not great for Spike, so I'm going to Crown Wart instead. And yeah, booty. I'm a booty hater, I'm sure you know. I don't like booty very much, but it's fine here. Because I have a strong character. We have Wart, who is... I, I like Pootie, I guess, I like Pootie a little more in this run because we have Aimless. So Pootie's going to have an easier time actually having a meaningful impact on a fight. Because it's going to be one extra chance in the final fight to double stack Shroom on a target. Which is the most important part here. Careful of Smackback Bear. He is real. Now, Wart is pretty bad at setting up multi-kills, which I think is his biggest flaw for us in this one. Another smack bag? Wow. I'd like to kill Top Uba. I'm gonna send him away. And... Hmm. <laughs> I don't really want to smack back this Uba Bear, or freeze this Uba Bear, I mean. Giving up Woodhead is fine. Woodhead is basically the best, or 4 damage is basically as well as Woodhead will do here, is my assessment. Just And then we get to save the freeze to hit the Porcupine here. Ideally, he goes 1 and 1. Perfect. Oh, but I killed it anyway. Oh well. Pooty actually gets to tank a hit here. In my mind, I always kill Pooty myself. But it's fine with me. You go, Pootie. Talk to him. Talk your shit. I would like to play... I mean, I'd like to... Someone asked, by the way, what happens... And I, I wanted to see this for myself now. Someone asked what would happen if you played Sunrod on a snowed target, and I said, I think nothing, and the answer is you can't even play it. Good question, though. So I wasn't 100% sure. I'm gonna hit the goblin. I'm gonna redraw for a freeze. I'm going to redraw for a freeze so that I can freeze the goblin to get some more money out of it. Because we didn't make a lot of money out of combos, naturally, because that's how this fight goes when you have your damage source from multi hits and you're playing into da bears. Wow, well, I could just win the game here. That's not the right play though. I'm going to hit the Uba Bear for a 2. This way, Wart can potentially set up a 2 kill here. Nice. Nice. Cool. I'll take it. Not too bad. Now, he is frozen for a while. Spike's going to have to take a Bumbo hit. But I can play Flame Water Hero. Yeah, this fight's over. Okay. We got it. Like, the line is done. I don't say it as, like, a we are... Everything is... Probably fine. This fight is over means we have won. I can't lose from this point. I have uh, guaranteed lethal with zero deaths and even a two kill. How nice. Oh no, Pootie. Injured. I don't believe it. Bamboozle. I will be going to the shop. That's fine. It's pretty good. Bling Bank? I used to love Bling Bank, but nowadays I feel like I just don't need it. I make so much money naturally. Sunlight Drum is pretty worthless. So I will take Bling Bank. This is a run for it. I feel like I naturally get so much money, though, that I just don't need to bother. And then I would like... Eh, Frog Charm is whatever. It's okay for Wart, but he's probably going to want someone in front of him. Shelbo. I have to be a little cautious with my spending here, but Shelbo's half off. The question is, do I want to buy one more thing here? Specifically, would I like to buy a Charm or Pinkberry Juice? I don't know. Hmm. I guess I'll roll for a Charm. I'm down. I think someone pointed out to me that... Uh, draw two on kill is cool. Someone pointed out to me that perhaps when enemies run away, they don't actually... Or they drop money now. Which I am going to keep an eye on this time around. We can crown... 
This is bamboozle. I'll craft booty. I'm not at risk of losing in this fight. I think we're very strong here. So I'm not going to bother spending my charms yet. We can wait until we have more information about what we're spending. Or what we're getting, I should say. Because those charms are cool, but they might not be necessarily what I want to be playing around. I'll play a bling bank. Shelbo does the cool thing here of killing Pooty and giving me value. Or I can have Pooty just tank a hit. And then I can freeze Winter Worm, which also seems pretty good. Come to think of it. That seems a little bit better on the action economy front. Because it's not like Pooty can tank Bamboozle for me. I don't think I should play like I'm going to kill the Winter Worm here. I think I'll just shell, though. If you want to play like you're going to kill the Winter Worm, you can uh, hit Baby Snowbow there. But I have my doubts. I'm going to hit Baby Snowbow now, though, because I have to hit him eventually. And that's the phase already. That was fast. I can just kill Boozle straight up here. Bop him. Hmm. So the thing that I don't like is I don't have a safe place to put my bling bank right now. So I'm actually going to play around that and kill the snowbow here. This should be fine. Hero hits 12, Boozle is fine. And now I can move my hero up. Oh, but then I'm tanking Boozle with Wart. Okay, I'll just play it like this then, because I don't I want Wart to attack this round for sure. So I don't want to be messing around. If I lose the bling bang here, so be it. Such is life. It's a one in three. I'll be fine. Ah. Yeah. Gross. Hey, that winter worm is still up there, by the way. Just so you're aware, and by you I mean me. It's all good. I have a woodhead for it. Mm -hmm. And I think... It's, it's, this is where I wish I could just get the damage so that I had the guaranteed two kill. I'll do this. There's a small chance that I double hit Bam here, which would be a shame. Actually, the odds are pretty high that Wart will kill something here. The only way he doesn't kill... Eh. Eh. I'm gonna hit Shelbo now. We're not gonna play, like... I'm not gonna play super aggro here. Oh, he did kill something there. Okay. And so I will now play... Six times two hits Spike. I don't care. Spike dies here. That's the... If you weren't aware, Spike does die on this turn. There's nothing I'm going to do about that. I'm just going to let him be. Doesn't really bother me, and Wart's fine. We're going to freeze the Snoof. So long, Spike. And then I have set myself up to maybe take a 3 kill here. I'm not going to worry about the wave, though. If I hit Snowball once, I'm happy, because that's a 3 kill, and it is a 3 kill. Alright. I guess I'll wait. There's nothing to do anyway. I can wait for whatever spawns in here. I think it's gonna be a snow monster. Snow gobbler. Yeah. That it is. Uh, Wart has to hit it once if I hit it with Scrappy Sword. Because I gave him a plus one. Good job, Wart. Great double kill. Well, we'll never know if you get money for enemies running away because I swept the fight. Sorry, Spike. That's how it goes. I have enough money that I'm just gonna go. I'm, I'm gonna. The money that I get here is going to be spent on a charm anyway, so I'll take the free charm. That's how it goes now. That's my new theory. I'm gonna move my microphone. I don't like where it is. A little bit better. The strawberry charm is whatever. The only unit. I was about to say, the only unit I would think about taking here is Fun Gun. Here's Fun Gun. I will take Fun Gun. 
I think it's good to have a big tank to throw on the top of the last fight, or on the other row of the last fight, I should say. And Fun Gun is that. He's very good at it. Storm Globe is nice. I actually like this card a lot more. I used to not like it very much, but it's good to have. Most fights don't go long enough that it matters. I have nothing with Consume. Right, and now we're going to Sword. Or we're going we're going to Crown. I'm going to Crown Shelbo. Mm, no, I don't like that. Because what you can do is you can play Hero, Warp, Pootie, and then Shelbo that row. But the thing I don't like about that is I don't get to guarantee it onto Warp. So I'd be only giving my Shell to Warp in this case, which is not great to me. I'd rather it go a little different. And I'm going to chill on the charms still. I don't really care for any of them. Yeah, I don't feel like I'm too interested in using any of these charms right now. There's been a lot of smack pack in this run. All I'm saying is that this game tends to give me a lot of the same effect in single runs. I'm not complaining, I'm just stating a fact. It just seems... I'm just... It just seems to me as though... It happens this way very frequently. That's all that I am saying. I'm freezing up both of the jotes. Good hit, Sport. Great job, buddy. He's doing a great job over there. He doesn't do much missing. I would like to play a fun gun. Oof. This is a lot of health to chew through, but I believe we should be able to chew through it. Okay, I would like to save the HP on Fun Gun, so I would like to freeze Gok. This feels right. There's a trap on this turn. Do you see it? Do you see the trap the game has laid for us? You may not see it, because it's a very tricky one. I almost didn't see it. But if you play Shelbo, Wart will die from the demon eyes. That's a trick. It's a, it's a sneaky one, isn't it? It's a little bit of a sneaky one out of the game. That's alright. At least I saw it. I should have. There's no reason for my hero to take that demon eyes. I don't know why I did that. I just did it for fun, I guess. Here, and then we will have Fun Gun take two hits. I'd like to wait a round actually before I play Sunrod. So I'd like it to line up with. No, I should do it now because it's unlikely that I'm going to kill anything with this attack. And so you let Wart go off now. And that'll line up with the other guy dying. Indeed. Very good. I guess I'll freeze the goblin. It's not like I have anything better to do here. We're pretty much out of this fight, but I have to watch myself. It's easy to fall for traps in a fight like this. Very easy to not see it. And then die. I'm not too worried about multi-killing. Blink Bank gives me the luxury of not caring, which is cool. I'm not going to worry about the Goblin or anything. I'm just going to kind of finish the fight here a little bit. I'm demonized anyway. It doesn't matter. I feel. I will be demonized, demonize, and demonize. I mean, yeah, Wart's at 5, so my positioning... It, you could optimize it a little bit, but if my man ever runs out of demonize, something went wrong. I died long ago. Okay, and then we storm go Muttonhead. Fun Gun takes 4. The Thunder has mostly stopped. Very kind of the unit. 
You're never going to believe this, but right as I finished saying that, my power went out. Yeah. So I think we just start at the start of the fight again. I'll do my best to play it as I did before, but, you know, it's... It is the most comedic of timings, I could imagine. I, uh... I don't know what to tell you. It came back pretty fast, and thankfully this game doesn't corrupt your save file when your power goes out or anything like that. But still, man, that's, uh... That's something. I wonder if the RNG goes exactly the same. I think it does. That looks the same to me. I don't really remember, though. To be honest. It's been tens of minutes since I last saw it. It sucks that we were out of this fight. I was done, and now I have to do it all again. I'd like to freeze the gawk, I think is what I did. That seems right. Then you send Fun Gun up, Wart triple hits the bottom gawk, I believe. No reason for my hero to get hit by this. Actually, I think I would put Wart up here, really. This looks fine to me. This is different than what I did last time, but I don't remember exactly how I played this last time. Uh, you know what? This might have been what I did, actually. Anyway, we're going to play Shellbow now. Fun Gun doesn't care. I'm going to ignore the Goblin. I gotta tell you, I don't care about that guy at all. We'll just freeze up young Gawkenstein. Mm, I guess Fun Gun's attack is wasted here. He could have gone down for the Gawk. Hmm. It doesn't matter if my hero... Like, Sun Riding my hero doesn't do anything of note here. That's the problem, because if I do Sunrod my hero, uh, Wart's going to attack him the same number of times in the same way anyway, so he doesn't matter. We're just going to freeze up the Muttonhead. We should kill the top side unless he triple hits Porcupine or something. Ah, that's pretty nice. I guess I could have sorted the Porcupine in case of that situation, but there's no way to know how it's going to roll. And... Uh, I don't do this hailing. Got it. I'm recording in the middle. You, you ever see uh, weather watchers? Fucking storm chasers. I'm just recording this video in the middle of a weather watcher. You're gonna see a tornado go by in the background. Well, you're not gonna see it. You're gonna hear it go by in the background, and you're gonna go, "Hey, what was that?" And I'm gonna say, "Don't worry about it." <laughs> no, don't don't look at that. Just look at the look at the gameplay. Look at video game. Don't look at the tornadoes. Don't you concern yourself. That's for me to worry about. Rain or shine, we're getting this freaking video out. Uh, I have a guaranteed two kill if I just chill. Right? Like, these two die to poison for sure. So there's a chance that I can get a three kill here. All I need is warp to hit the gawk once. Good job, Wart. Nice three kill. How lovely. Yeah, it's, uh, I remember when I said the storm is letting up? It is definitely not letting up. I was extremely wrong. My hubris will be my downfall. Fuck you, Mother Nature. After this one, I, after I finish recording this, I think I'm gonna go outside and start fist fighting the rain for inconveniencing me. I don't want any of these. We will pass. I do like just seeing more charms, because eventually I'm going to see one of the charms that's insane, if I just keep clicking on them. Mm -hmm, shield charm's pretty good. That one's worth considering. And I will toss... I don't believe that there's a good case for flame water in this deck, so I'm going to toss it out now. That seems right. And what I would like to do is I am going to use shield charm on warped. That one's good enough, and this is a great run for Chuckle Charm. If I could ever see that, ooh buddy. But Wart's gonna be getting the Lumen Vase in the future, so giving him another thing to synergize off of Lumen Vase looks pretty good here. I believe. 
Fun Gun does super well in this fight because Gromble is here. And I think I should just go Bellbow. And then remember you can heal your companions by recalling them. I've so I've been told. And I'm gonna let War go off on the top side and we'll freeze Bigfoot on the bottom. And we'll see what he does. Three three hitting the woolly drek is insane. That is so good. War, you're crazy for that one. Now two hits on the Gromble would be ideal here. Or even three hit two hit two hits Gromble would be ideal. Alright, War hates the woolly drek. I've never seen a guy with such hatred for an enemy. He just said, you know what, Wooly Drek? This is not your fight. This is my fight. I'm the Alpha. You're the Omega. I'm gonna greed for Bling Bank here. I think I'm very far ahead now. So why not? That's three Grombles popping off. I'll save my Bling Bank. I don't want to freeze this Bigfoot because I don't want to give it teeth. That's the problem here. So I guess I'll freeze the other one. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Fun gun's up to seven poison. I think, did Wart, Wart did not get credit for that. I think that was someone else's poison. No, he should have, shouldn't he? I think he should have. I don't know. We're good. I thought there was, I heard a weird noise coming from outside. I had to check if it was the tornado siren. Oh, wait, it might be. Hold on. I'll be right back. Okay. It was not the tornado siren. It was just a tractor. But it's not, I couldn't tell the difference. It was very loud. We're good, though. I don't think, I don't think we're going to have any incidents during the recording of this video. Hope no more. Hopefully. <laughs> oh, God, I hope. So I'm going to, after Wart goes, I'm going to freeze this Bigfoot that has the teeth on him. Yeah, and now we let him die of uh, natural causes with a Storm Globe. Fun Gun goes to three. This dies. Here comes Big Lou. Not where I would have liked him to go, but that's okay. We get a full round on the top, which is cool. Everyone's attacks line up. I'm down to clown here. It's good to keep Fun Gun on the on the squad. Mostly, I just need to make sure that I freeze the Gromble here so that we don't have any uh, Bling Bank related mint losses. It's a big poison. Nice little spread as well. I like that. Pawpaw hits into a fun gun, I don't mind. And this will give us a nice little two kill here. Assuming I can freeze the Bigfoot, it's nice. Yeah, it is pretty nice. Big Lou kills my bling bank. That's uh, not worth it, actually. There's no reason to have Big Lou kill my bling bank. I could have my hero tank that instead. You can, you can take a five, you're fine, you're at 14. What's left? There's an enemy spawning? It must be a... I think it's a Gromble, right? It has to be a Gromble. Yeah. The answer is always it's a Gromble, really. Take another shell bow. I mean, we'll get warp. My man's not dying anytime soon. It's really just a question of can I keep my bling bank alive through all of this now? I believe the rain has stopped. I think we made it through the storm. You guys still with me? You still there? You didn't get blown away, did you? I hope not. That would be a real shame. And also impressive. Get blown away through the video. And this is a dub. Get out of here, Big Lou. Be gone. Nice. Good fight, good fight. The run is very strong. The most challenging part of it is actually the storm outside of my uh, window. I am lose losing focus because I have to go make sure there's not a tornado coming. I don't, I don't really want to duplicate here. There's nothing good to duplicate. 
Sunrod maybe, but I'd rather go Muncher. Instead of duplicating for Sunrod, I could go throw away a sword. And I think I could throw away a snow stick at this point. You have to leave one sword in. I could throw Woodhead out instead, but I like Woodhead. I'll throw one snow stick. It feels weird to do, but I think it's good. It's fine, it's fine. Trust me. Yeah, because now we get new Moon Biscuit and things go a little wacky. Plus a Lumen Vase here. It gets, uh, this could actually be an infinite, now that I think about it. No, it couldn't. Never mind. I apologize. I got a little too excited. It's, it can't be an infinite because Wart doesn't actually kill things himself. Bomb Skill Charm's cool. He doesn't kill things when he attacks, rather. He kills them at the end of the turn. Angu Charm. Man, these charms have been disappointing. Look at them all. Well, at least we have something to put Strawberry Charm on, finally. That's nice. And I will crown the Lumen Vase. Uh, from this position, if I want to uh, be boring, we can guarantee our victory, which I might end up doing. We will see. You can guarantee the victory by just taking out uh, both of these units and playing New Moon Biscuit, Lumen Vase, Shelbo on turn one. And then it's basically just over. Yeah, I mean, I guess I may as well, right? Why not? That's the wrong card. I'm fairly certain that this position can't be lost. And, you know, I may as well test the theory. Uh, that's, that's my new thought. We may as well see if I'm right. I'm like, I'm pretty sure I'm right. Oh, spike wall with four health? What the hell? Can you imagine that? Crazy. Unbelievable, really. Yeah, but now my deck is this many cards. I play a woodhead. I'm just doing the full setup here. A bling bank. I don't have to care about single hits like that. Freeze Crunker. Eh, I do kind of miss the booty, but... Yeah, now you just go Shelbo every turn. I outscale you. You can't hurt me anymore. I'm sorry. But you, you have been outscaled. Oh yeah, I don't actually have to... I can just play a card here. I will let it be. This is 100% one, but I it's going to take a while. <laughs> That's, that is the downside. It's going to take us a while to actually get through this one, but I'll do it this way, I suppose. Uh, I pride myself on doing things that are at least a little interesting in runs, to be fair. And uh, this is it's hard to keep it interesting, I suppose, because the winning line here is... You could do it any number of ways, I suppose, is what I'm trying to get at. Does my blink bank die here? Oh, it doesn't. That's cool. I didn't. I wasn't actually sure. I didn't know that. I could definitely kill it if I wanted to. The shell bow's right there. Here, at this point, I think what I'll do is I'll just start speeding it up and we'll play Sunrods. <laughs> Great case for you to have actually left in the flame water would have made Krunker a lot shorter of a fight. I didn't think about that, did you? Yeah, I can just redraw for Shellbow plus Sunrod every turn to accelerate our victory. Oh, he's gonna... He's actually blowing himself away here. Bling Bang's going to die, and I'm okay with that. I guess I could just skip playing Shellbow this turn. If my power goes out one more time, I'm freaking... I'm throwing the recording out. I'm sorry. It'll be the end. Hopefully you're hearing this, but if it goes out one more time, I'm just... I'm throwing this thing away. I'm done. I'll finish the run on my own time. We'll do it there. I'll do another run. I'm gonna freaking lose my mind. I can't be... I can't do this anymore, man. Anyway. As I was. So what, the new new goal is to finish this run as fast as possible because I can't lose. I just have to go through the motions of winning now without getting my progress reset 500 times. 
I'm fairly certain that from this point, once I have the wart set up, I am just 100% one. So I'm gonna play accordingly and throw things at the Krunker until he eventually dies. Yeah, wart, he does do a little bit of missing though. I'll tell you that. So what we're going to do now is we're just gonna every cycle play these two cards. I could maybe see myself playing draw two, because in theory Wart will reach a point where he's killing something every turn. And once he's there, it's pretty high value to have draw two, because then I would never have to redraw. You would play the Sunrod, something would die, and you would draw it again. Over and over for eternity. I think I just freeze the Krunker. Hero goes up to tank. I'll redraw because I want to Shelbo first. Warp comes down. I will hit Krunker so he phases here. Hero takes six. Oh no. Oh yeah. He doesn't kill it because he doesn't actually do damage to it. Weird. I mean, that's very correct. You're not wrong, game. It's just strange. If I had an option here to duplicate, I would get another Sunrod. So I could play Sunrod, Sunrod, Redraw. Or like Sunrod, Sunrod, Freeze, Redraw would be the play. But alas, I do not. There's a lot of enemies hitting me, and I guess I maybe care. I care a little. I think his attack changed this time, though, didn't it? I feel like... Oh, no, it didn't. Uh, I just didn't have Bling Bank alive last time here. I'm pretty sure. Shelbo first. Keeping this Bling Bank alive, it's a Herculean effort on my part. Is he? He's still aimless. He's just doing a lot of double-hitting the front. You, uh, you do whatever you want, Bort. Don't let anyone tell you what you can and cannot do. You're the boss here. Spuncher kills one of his own boys. Or sorry, Krunker kills one of his own boys, I should say. Notice that it does actually play the sacrifice animation there, so I think you could get enemies to sacrifice themselves if you ever needed to for, like, soulbound reasons. That could be kind of neat. Mm, the fight probably ends here. It's very likely that the fight ends here. Ah, oh, it doesn't. That's nice, because it sets me up for a little double kill. And I could even go so far as to... I don't know. I guess I shouldn't. Eh, it's whatever. I'll do Sunrod, because maybe I will kill the Grink. It's unlikely. But maybe I'll kill the Grinky. Ah, oh, Krunker actually killed himself. Do I get to go? I do get to go. And then we killed the Grinky. Well, they do drop a little money when they run away. That's cool. Card draw me. Nice. Good job, Pooty. Uh, Charm Merchant. I don't have a lot of money for the Charm Merchant. No, I want the Chuckle Charm. Oh, that's so sad. What a tragedy. All right, I'll take Smackback Charm here. It's good. It goes on warp. He gets very powerful, and then he kills everything. Crack the planet wart. I have to be careful. Don't get overconfident going into hog fight. I can still die to warthogs. We have to play our freezes. That's all. The rest of these charms are pretty sad. But that's okay. I don't have a crown or anything wasted, do I? Oh. All right, let's do it. Huh. I have... Have I ever seen the Warthog in the back like that? Weird, I don't think I have. It's so strange because this is all I need to do, and now if I just sit here and wait, this fight will eventually end in my favor. It just feels strange. I'll play Bling Bank here so that I have a little bit of money. And I will play... I should play Storm Globe on Warthog. This is another fight where it would have been good for me to have... Uh, plus one damage, by the way. I didn't think we'd find too many, but here we are again. I want 
would head later, actually. Hmm, no, Woodhead could go now. I'm okay with that. And then it goes... Uh, I should redraw because the deck is no cards. I just draw everything here. Imagine a Moko charm on this one. Anyway, we're gonna play Sword on Hog and then the bottom two Hogs die to Woodhead and that's a 4 kill. Nice little tactic. Gives us a little bit of money. Storm Globe on the Hog. That's all I have to remember to do. And then I want to put Wart in front. This is where the Smack Pack goes. Because if you don't know, Aimless Smack Pack doesn't hit the target that is being hit. So Wart's about to hit randomly like six times, which is really good. In this position, I could actually give him a Lumen Vase. I think it's worth it. Because he's going to take a lot of kills here. Mm -hmm. There's the bottom row dead. And then that's uh, not quite a 5 kill, but pretty close. And he gets 24 shell, shell for that. 24 shield for that, if you will. Looks pretty good when you, when you look at it like that, doesn't it? I got nothing to play this turn. I don't really want to play anything. Sure. And then we just freeze up this Warthog, and we're going home. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I guess I just freeze it again, in case it doesn't die here. Because it might live. I would be surprised. This should be a 5 kill, though. Ah, uh, no, not quite. One Hog dodged the guillotine. I'm gonna take my screenshot of this, if you don't mind, because that's definitely what I want. Shit, Gimp's closed because my freaking power went out. That's okay. I'm good. I'll open it while we're going here. You all notice, I'm sure. Uh, Razor, he doesn't really frighten me here. Uh, I don't know why. You know what, Razor? You can have a plus one. You need it, buddy. <laughs> You're gonna see a really big poison number. Yeah. <laughs> Razor, stop. Uh, don't go any further, buddy. You, you don't want this. It's not worth it, man. Go home. Okay, we're gonna go snail for sure. It's a shame I have to go to a junk vendor, but I'll live. Crown, sure. I don't really care for snow cake here. I don't need it, is why. Like, it's just going to slow me down. Slowing enemy attacks down slows down my winning. I could, I suppose. I, like, I should probably pick up Scrap Pile. Because I have room for a card. Once I play everything out, it's only 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So I can play Scrap Pile just to start working on it. This is a run where I'm so far ahead that it doesn't matter if I have a dead card. I will not take any of these. And I have another crown. I guess we can put it on... Hmm. I gotta tell you here, I'm feeling like the best play is actually to bring Pootie back in. Tap Pootie back in and just cut the crown off of the Lumen Vase. I got time. You could also play... I'm gonna put Block Charm on our hero. You could play Lumen Vase Pootie even. And then, yeah, I think it's actually fine. It's a little bit greedy of me to do this, but I think I'll be all right. What's the other crown for, then? Uh, I guess it could go to... It doesn't really matter. I guess it goes to Woodhead. All right. This is very greedy, but it's it's probably fine. This is Triple Clunker. I've never seen this start before. Wart, Booty, Vase... Given times to hero woodhead. Very need to be very careful here. I can lose if I don't watch myself for sure. But I have four turns before anything happens to me unless I hit the spike wall here. So first and foremost, I'm going to Numon Biscuit Shell though. 
second of all, we're going to play it so long to that one block. Didn't really think that one through, now did I? We'll hit the Mega Mimic for one. Freeze. And then I'll freeze the Spike Wall. So that we don't take a bunch of damage and have Wart die here. And then these two on the bottom will die eventually. Over a few turns. I don't know why I froze the Mega Mimic. It couldn't have attacked me. Great point. I am one card short of full cycling every turn. Just worth noticing. I would like to... I think I'm good to hit the Mega Mimic here. I don't mind Woodhead dying because the attack that Frost Guardian gives out is not going to anything that's going to hurt me. And then I have... I have to play Bling Bank at some point. So I guess I'll do it now. I don't want to disrespect this fight too much because I can lose here. Oh, Lumivay's Scrap Pile is kind of cute. Mm, there's no reason to do that. Now, well, once you put the poison out on the Frost Guardian, it's go time. But I think I can get away with it. I think he'll die pretty fast here. If I Lumen Vase Wart, Lumen Vasing Wart is the safe and smart play here. Let's do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd love to farm up on Scrap Pile, but it's looking like... I don't know. We'll see. This'll do... 30. Okay, so the Frost Guardian just dies over two turns, and so does Grizzle. That's good. Now we draw... Now we Scrap Pile Bling Bank. Because we can. Well, if I want to be greedy here, and I do like being greedy... I'm gonna Lumen Vase, and then we get it to two... Let's do it. The boss phase is here. Grizzle dies. There's nothing scary here. It's just kind of hard to get there on the scrap pile angle. Oh, and Uba Bear's coming at me here. Hmm. I'm about to get uba Whoa! That's not right. Hey! Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay. Well, I'll just shellbow now. The thing that's... I mean... Here. We'll play this the right way, I suppose. The right choice here is to not let the bear freeze wart. I am going to take 6, 12, uh, 13, 14, 15, 16 on wart, which is... Fine, he's at 23. Yeah, he'll be alright. Yeah, and now he just kind of goes off. The, like, everything dies here. That's all there is to it. <laughs> Please stop, you're already dead. Stop hitting him. Stop, stop, stop. Oh my god, he's still going! Someone count up how much poison Wart put out on that turn, please. Tell me how much damage my man just uh, just did, because that was a lot. Uh, Frost Guardian is dead now. Like, he does not get to swing again. Or no, he does get to swing again. But I can't redraw in time to see my scrap pile again. But we got 4 out of, the, four out of 10 there, which is good. I'll take it. I gotta tell you though, that foodie angle looked pretty bad. There's no reason to do that. It's adding unnecessary risk for very low reward. There is no reason to waste two crowns on foodie in this position when I could instead just chill and let Wart kill everything. That's my assessment. I'm not sorry, Pootie. I'm I'm a big Pootie hater, I really don't like him. Mm-hmm. Here we are. So we Noomlin Shellbow. We Vase Shellbow. I want to play... Where do I want Wart? I think I'll put him on the top. It's fine. 
And I will elbow up to 10, Woodhead on the bottom. You kind of want Crusher there so that Crusher... You, you kind of don't want Woodhead here because he, he gets in the way of Crusher hitting Wart for me. But I'm not going to play this one greedily. I'm going to play this one to win. And to, the winning play is to just get two Shellbow guaranteed draws uh, ASAP. Right? We just want to be guaranteeing Shellbow as soon as possible. So I'll play Bling Bank and then Crusher will hit Woodhead. I could hit Woodhead myself, Wart will take 5. He's at 12. I'm willing to. Because he's just gonna go crazy with poison here. It's only, it's only 2 hits, don't forget. He's not gonna go crazy with poison here, he's just gonna do alright. He's gonna do his best. But I'm gonna move the Lumen Vase over to Wart, I think, actually. Mm, maybe not. No, I shouldn't. What I'll do here is I'll scrap pile the bling bank so that it can stay alive and maybe tank an aimless later. Yeah. Ultimately, I'm taking 9... I'm taking 12 next turn, and as long as I survive this hit, I should be winning because I'm gonna get so much smack bag value here. And it's 7 plus 8, which is 15. You're taking 4... Uh, plus 5, plus 3, which is 12. Nothing's exploding or dying, so the, we don't take a surprise damage. This is A-OK. -okay. Oh yeah, and that's free. Sorry, I forgot that that card's also free. Right, right, right. So all I actually have to do here is fast draw every turn, right? We want to play safe, we don't want to do anything crazy. I have to be a little cautious of the Crusher. Joe is putting a 5 on the table, actually. The poison's going. I just have to play accordingly here. Because Wart, he's hanging on. He's hanging in there. I have to freeze up the Crusher, basically, now. We take 5, we'll be okay. You got 11 coming next round, it's fine. Uh, hmm, I can't play... If I don't redraw right now, I can't redraw next turn. I'm good to redraw now. You take five, and then you freeze the Crusher. There's a lot of damage coming, but it's mitigated because the Junker is dying here. And we get the smack back, so we might... Oh, never mind. Okay. Don't mess up here. You play your Shellbow. You got 17 versus 11, so you're good. It's... I know it's 17 is what you're thinking, but we're freezing the Crusher. We redrew just so we could play Shellbow this turn. Uh, no matter what Lancer hits, we're chilling, and I'm not losing anything I care about because both of the cards I care about are discarded. Yep, and that's a two kill, it's a three kill, we're out of here. Now we finish our, our quest. Now I move my Lumen Vase to Scrap Pile because we've won the fight, and we finish this quest up. How many do I need? I think I need five. So it goes a Scrap Pile. It's a race against Wart here. Can I do it before he kills everything? It's actually a race against the Crusher because I do have to refreeze him, but I think I have plenty of time. We only have to play it one more time from here. This is 11, you're at 25. I redraw, we're guaranteed, we got it. We did it! I finished the Clunker quest. What an awful quest, I hate this quest. Add Scrap to Clunkers is such a weird quest goal because there's like two cards that do that. There he is, the seven scrap bling bank. <laughs> yeah, he's looking pretty juicy. Ugh. All right, GG. We survived. I made it through. I'm, I'm not going to say. I'm not one for suspicions, but if my power goes out again after saying we made it through without any more issues, I'm going to lose it. I want a picture of this for the thumbnail. This guy deserves to be in the screenshot. All right, let's do it. Be gone. And GG. Uh, it's, this is the sort of run where, so some runs of this game, you end up with a ton of cards in your deck and you end up with all those cards in your deck because you have to take things to not die early. This is a run where we had a great first charm into the perfect holder for that first charm. So I didn't have to take bad cards and the game just gave me one Noomlin Biscuit and then I can play Shelbo every turn. One Noomlin Biscuit, a, a guaranteed formula for success in this game is 
one Newman Biscuit, one card that increases your survivability, and a deck size of less than seven. Because then you can play that Newman card every single turn, and it's just completely over. Well, now that it's the only thing left to do, I guess I should do a daily. That's probably what I'll do tomorrow, I suppose. And then I will finish the save file in... How many runs will it be? Assuming I, I have to win the daily, right? But this is the last challenge to finish. So assuming I win the daily, I'll have finished the full unlock in just under 20 runs. That's pretty good, actually. I expected it to be more like 30, so I'll take that. Anyway, I'm going to end the video now before my power goes out again. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to leave me a like. Subscribe if you want to see more. I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one.